everybody, it's Shauna at the Manitou Museum in the Boreal Forest Gallery. We know that one of the things that plants need to grow are nutrients. But what happens if nutrients are missing or limited? To find out, I brought us here to our bog diorama. A bog is a special kind of wetland that is only fed by rainwater, so it's very low in nutrients. And yet, there are many plants and animals living here. How do they do it? They have amazing adaptations. I'd like to introduce you to the pitcher plant. This plant gets its nutrients in a very special way. It gets its nutrients by eating insects. That's right, it's a carnivorous plant, a plant that's like a carnivore. So how does the pitcher plant catch its insects? The pitcher plant is called the pitcher plant because its leaves are like modified pitchers and they fill up with rainwater. The pitcher plant produces sweet nectar to attract the insects. Look very closely. Can you see that horse fly? When it lands, it will fall down into the liquid. The fly cannot get out because the walls are smooth and slippery and they also even have hairs pointing down. So it's trapped. Then the fly is dead. That's right, it's drowned, its body rots, and the nutrients that were in the fly's body get into the rainwater and get taken up by the pitcher plant. And that's how the pitcher plant gets its nutrients. So there you have it, a carnivorous plant that grows right here in Manitoba. Plant adaptations are amazing. Thanks for joining me. 